In this video, we will recreate my custom button card templates. I'm using three distinct buttons for switches, navigation, and more info buttons. They look similar, but clearly show what action they will perform before pressed. This has raised the spouse approval factor of my smart home tremendously. Here you can see how I'm using them on my dashboard. A switch targets the entity, and the navigation button takes it to another viewer or opens a pop-up. No more guessing what the button does when you press it. If you want the full code for these buttons, you can find the link in the description. Before we start, make sure you have button card installed to follow along. I will add a grid card with three columns to my dashboards as we are creating three buttons. Let's start with the switch button. First, we add a switch entity to the button card and give it a name. I will put the attribute variables here, but we will leave it empty for now. We will come back to it later to make configuring the card much easier. We set show state to true and set the tab action to toggle. I also like to configure hold action with more info in case I need more information on an entity. I will also leave the attribute state here, which we will configure later when we do the variables. Let's add a custom field named icon2. It is a button card as well. We use some JavaScript code to set the switch icon to the right state depending on the state of the entity. After that, we style the card a little bit. This is quite basic, just the size of the card and the icons and the colors. Now let's style the actual button. We start by adding the grid templates. As you can see, it already looks much better. Style the icon and give it a width of 20 pixels. For the color, we are using some JavaScript code again. If the entity is on, we want to return black. If not, we want to return contrast 20. We continue with the name. We set justify self to start and a font size. To make it look a bit more clean, we also give it a margin bottom of 3 pixels. For the color, we can copy the same JavaScript as we used for the icon, as they both should behave the same way. Lastly, we add opacity of 0.7. Now about the card. We set a fixed height, so all of our buttons always look good in line. For the background color, we copy the same JavaScript again, but this time we change out the variables. When the entity is on, we want the button to be yellow, and when it's off, we return contrast 2. We set box shadow to none and give it some basic padding. Now we can see our button slowly take shape. For the state, we set justify self to start and font size to 20 pixels. We give it a margin top and some padding to align it with the icon. For the color, we copy the same JavaScript code. Now for our custom field. We position it in the top right corner by giving it a margin, justify self end and some padding. We also define the width. And that's basically it. The custom switch template is ready. To make it flexible and easy to use, we will add a few more things though. Let's go back to the top. We add a variable for icon on and icon off. As a default, I just set the entity icon here. However, you can use these to set custom icons. For the color, we can set any color that we like, or a variable from a theme like I do here. Now we go back to the state attribute. When the entity state value is on, we want the icon to be the icon on variable that we just set. The background color we set to our color variable. Now we copy the whole thing and change the value to off. Here we just change out the correct variables and change the color to the off color. In my case, it's a theme variable for contrast 2. And that's it, our switch template button is ready. Doing it this way with the variables make it much more flexible. It means when you are using the template, you only need to change the variables at the top. Okay, let's work on the second button, the navigation button. For that, we copy what we have so far and we will make some changes to make it work as a navigation button. First of all, we change the icon to custom field to a new icon to show what kind of button this button is. Of course, we need to change the tab action to navigate. As we want to keep the card flexible, we add a new variable, navigation path. I set the default to home, but you need to change this to a valid path in your home assistant. Afterwards, we can add the variable to the navigation path. Instead of the state, we want to show the label. So we set show state to false, show label to true, and add a label. As you can see, it doesn't look good right now, but that's an easy fix. In the grid template areas, we just have to change S to L to show the label instead of the state. And in the styling, we find the state and change it to label. Now the label has the same grid area and styling as the state had before. To keep the card flexible, we add a few more variables. I'm not only using this card with switch entities, so it's a bit more complex as the switch template before. Once we have all the variables, we have to adapt the state attribute. We basically just return all the different variables, so we can set the states, background color and color depending on what entity we are using. Okay, let's move on to the third button. We copy the card and adapt it again. First, we remove the navigation path variable and add a new one called icon2. Then we change the tab action to more info. In our custom field, we add the new icon2 variable. As you can see, the button now has a custom icon. We take out the icon in the grid template and just leave the label and delete the padding for the label as it's not needed anymore. Now we can adapt the card to a new entity. 
And that's it. Our three custom button cards are ready. I highly recommend using these as button card templates. If you want the full code for these buttons, you can find the link in the description. I just started this YouTube channel, so if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. I have other videos where I create more custom cards, show off cool Hux cards or two of my personal dashboard. Thanks for watching!